Hi everyone, this is Jason Matthew from the We Can Editech channel. Today we're going to be looking at slide layouts in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get straight into it. So first thing first, we have to make sure that we are in the home ribbon. Right now I'm in the insert ribbon. So I'm going to click on the home ribbon and there I have all the options there for slide layouts. So by default, Microsoft PowerPoint will have the first slide as in the title slide layout. And what that means is that there's a placeholder for to click to add a title and there's also a placeholder to click to add subtitle. Now I'm in the main window there, the central window, and this is where you will edit your slide. Now to the left of that, there's the slide panel and that gives you a thumbnail of the slide. If you watch in the central window, you can see the placeholders, but in the thumbnail you don't. And that's because the thumbnail represents visually what the audience will see when you are presenting your PowerPoint point presentation so right now we have not done anything as yet we haven't edited this slide so that's why that thumbnail looks blank as we start to edit you're going to see the changes reflected in that thumbnail so for instance let's click on add a title so let's click slide layouts so as you can see, as I'm, I was typing, the thumbnail was updating with the title. Now, typically with a title slide like this, for the subtitle, you generally put the presenter's name or something. For this example, that should show you the flexibility of this, is that if you didn't want a placeholder there, you can simply click on it and delete it. So I just click on the delete key on my keyboard and there it goes. So all we have now is slide layouts. Now in subsequent videos, you'll see how we can further edit these slides by adding pictures or text boxes and so on. So don't worry too much, it's coming in the future. But today I just want to focus on slide layouts. Now if I click on new slide, there I get slide two, which has a title placeholder and then you could add content. And that will be default second slide. And if I click on it again, you see slide three will have that same title content layout. And if I continue with that process, each new slide will also have that same title content layout. But you might be thinking of a different kind of layout. And if you are, then you're in luck because PowerPoint has nine different kinds of layouts you could use for your slides. Now, how do you access those different nine layouts? Well, you click on the drop down arrow next to the new slide on the home ribbon. So if I click on that drop down arrow, you see there are the nine different layouts I can choose. So there's the title and content, which is what we have right now. There's section header, two content, comparison, and so on. Let's say I wanted comparison. Now you see slide four has the comparison layout. Now look at what happens if I just click new slide for slide five. If you watch, slide five now has that comparison layout. And what, what that means is that the new slide will have the layout as the previous slide. Now, if you have already added a new slide layout and you're thinking, oh, well, this layout isn't working for me. I, want, I already wanted a new layout. Let's say I don't want this comparison layout anymore. I want this slide to have the title and content layout. Then don't worry, you can do it retroactively. And what you do is that you click on the layout icon that arrow there next to it and there you can choose any one of those nine styles so let's say we wanted to change the comparison layout to the title and content layout and look at that now slide 5 has the title and content layout please like and subscribe talk to you soon bye